What's up, guys? Hi. What's up? Hello. Hi, everyone. And hello, Mr. Ni Akimolayo. Is Ni yeah. Akimolayo? What is Mr. Ni? Oh, oh that's what they call you now, Mr. Ni. <laughs> to bring his age back. That is why people think I'm in my 50s. <laughs> and I'm a veteran. <laughs> I'm not a veteran. I'm not Did we not see your 2008 no, footage no. with Tony Rappu I'm doing a young documentary? Filmmaker. I'm, 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 yeah. Young, young, young filmmaker. Please, guys, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Welcome right, cool. to the Inglot Meet and Greet podcast. Woohoo! Yeah, that was episode one, Ginger. Just say it was up. <laughs> now, we're old in right. this game. Yes, yeah, so right. Oh, well, yeah, we're older. We're not really old. <laughs> so, me, welcome. Hello, welcome. Thank you for having me. Do you, know, do you guys know who we're with today? Like, <laughs> The no. ultimate Mr. Ni, like I said, the Mr. Ni, Akimolayo. You need to have that Mr. in front because we yes, cannot be no. calling your name anyhow. Yeah. You, you are know. the first and, I mean, only currently, presently, you are yes. the only director in Nigeria to have crossed the one billion naira gross box office revenue generating ginger. Well, am I allowed to say My point is, that out. I'm so excited to have you. Congratulations on all your success, your yes. chaotic success. So yes, yes, thank you. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> thank you. It was quite chaotic. From the, <laughs> of, from the ups of Prophetess to the ups of Wedding Party 2 mm -hmm. to the downs of, you know, that movie called Kajola. We, that we are not supposed to mention. <laughs> that we're not supposed to mention. We must mention it because, no, because the man always tells people. the same story of Kajola over and over again. No, I'm telling you. You just did it in the same words. You know, the haters that went to ask for his damn money. <laughs> no, 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 it's a big deal because, as I yeah. said, when I put it like milestones matter, right? Yes. So, milestones and matter. so, the first to cross a billion worldwide, and by the time this comes out, probably a billion in West Africa yeah. mm -hmm. matters, right? Yeah. And yes. so, please a, take your flowers, a massive, we have them for you, <laughs> yes, your yes, thick yes, flowers, yes. <laughs> yes. And, and so, it, it tells us that I mean, that it doesn't, you do, there is that it's hard work, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I love the fact that you did it on a film written and directed by. Nia Kimalaya. So nobody yes. can say that they like that. <laughs> they made you a star. You know? You know? Yeah. You know, so Anthill Studios production. And yes. they gave us a lot. This was your best film. Yes, from, yeah. and it was clearly from your mind. Yeah. Because somebody died that shouldn't have died. Yeah. So we know that Excuse that's what. Excuse me. That. Please, please. Kill no. people in film. No, please. No, they don't need not, to die. Not, not just kill anyhow. I said kill people no, in film. Just kill. Just don't kill. Don't anyhow. kill indiscriminately. <laughs> yes. Kill with sense. Because I don't want to spoil it for people that haven't seen the movie. By this you time, everybody would have seen it. But somebody did not need to die. That the mom at the end is no, not needed. Wow. We can have that. Wow. Wow. Just literally doubled that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to spoil no, no, it to you, that cut, extreme. Cut it out. Nobody died. It was. <laughs> we will bleep. I don't understand. Yeah. Then he said that it's okay to spoil it. No, but the done. broadness of a death is fine. Not the and this person died at that minute of the film <laughs> while it was going on. Truly to the one one hour so 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 mark. <laughs> so <laughs> so so congratulations. Thank that you. I mean yeah. that's it's awesome. no mean feat and you know we are proud and we're happy. We're happy to be associated to the point that people think you own in blood. So yes, that film is an in blood film. We've taken it. 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 we have taken it we have taken it we have taken it we have Kajola origins. Yeah, so no, even go further back further than that. Back. Because mm -hmm. Kajola was the culmination mm -hmm. of the desire to do film, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's start with the desire to do film. How, yes. did you end up How dare you think you could become a filmmaker? How dare Explain you? yourself you to on the hot seat. No, exactly. so, the, so, the effront tree. <laughs> First, I didn't care about filmmaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought, you know, they were all broke people. They didn't have money. Which is I, true. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, so I was... Uh, in my early days, this is crazy. I just wanted, I wanted to make animation. It was the only thing I cared about, mm. you know. Um, I learned, I, you know, the, everything I studied was animation. And I think, now that I think about it, because there wasn't that much animation training, so you read everything. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it has helped because I don't think there is an aspect of production that I do not have some solid understanding of how it works, you know, whether it's sound, design, script, uh, because you have to do all those things yourself mm -hmm. anyway. But of course, animation wasn't happening as fast as it was. I thought about doing music videos, but I was, um, 
this is going to make everybody laugh. I was a born again Christian, and they were always showing bomb bomb. And I thought, over my dead body, I am not going to do this nonsense. You so I, bomb -bomb. I, holy bomb bomb. Holy bomb bomb. So we used to. So I used to be the guy behind a lot of those cool music videos in mm -hmm. post production. So oh, nice. whenever I used to be the guy who removed the green screen, the blue screen, did yeah. all the mm -hmm. you know, if you remember those early Sound City. You know, days and all this, yeah. where we were really excited about motion graphics, graphics and all that. Yeah. I used to be that guy. And um, that wasn't really panning out because the money was, you know, nobody was paying us then. You know, you're a studio rat. <laughs> Anything you see, you take, you know. But we really loved the work. I was like, we're going to change it. We're going to change That's the work. That's the story of fashion. Do great stuff, you know. But it wasn't working out. Mm -hmm. and, but I also have a strong love for advertising, you yeah. know, especially because advertising is always a quick way to experiment and tell a story in. 45 yeah, seconds, you know, seconds, man. like they say. And um, there was a lot that was happening in advertising in that time, too, that required some little animation work and all of that. So I'm talking the mid-2000s, mid okay. you know, to late... Um, and then you say it's not a veteran, but continue. You know, so that was, uh, you know, how old was I then? You know? But we were, very, we were very few. Exactly. Then. So one day, there was an advertising company. Um, I think they are dead now. It's mm -hmm. called Alternative. I don't know if you have any Alternative. Mm -hmm. And they used to do Diamond Bank back then and a few. Yeah. So they I'd done a couple of work for them and they were owing me so much money. <laughs> Welcome to so, the world of advertising. Yes, this was 20, 2000 and I think seven or twenty. They were owing me like 400 k You know what 400 k Back was, then. Back then. And it was pile when and pile. When dollars still made sense. Yeah, so in my mind, you know, this when is Naira still made sense. so much money. And they didn't pay me. And I got really, really <clears throat> angry. You know, I said, you know what? F this nonsense. I'm never going to do this nonsense mm -hmm. again. I also was really busy at that time. I didn't have time for my girlfriend, so she dumped me. Okay. And um, <laughs> it was a really bad moment. So I just decided one of the ways to... I read one nonsense online that one of the ways to get out of your outbreak is to write. Mm -hmm. You know? It's not nonsense. And, <laughs> and I decided, you know, I'm going to write and I'm going to put her name as the lead character in this story so that I can be writing with anger. You know? <laughs> yeah, okay. you know, and that's how the Kajala story started. Of course, ah. you know, if you were into animation, naturally you would love science fiction. Yes. Mm. And um, yeah. we wanted to, we had this belief that Nollywood was shit and we were going to change that nonsense. Mm. You know, we were going to so tell stories. That yes, stories. That's why when I say a lot of young people like that today, I don't, I don't get angry, you know. I really want to help. I want to, I want to remind them that that's who I was, you know. That's how people like AK were when I first met them. They were like, you know, rubbish, you know, Nollywood. And I was like that. So I started writing that I'm going to shock people. They're going to be robots in the film. We're going to blow up the Third Mainland Bridge. Have you, you know, I was like, this is the, what the industry needs. needs yes. If we blow up the Third Mainland Bridge, wow. nobody has ever seen stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I wrote myself, how did I write? I went to computer video. It was the software they saw. Writing. writing, they said it's final draft, bought it, installed it, went to like two all night cafes, downloaded tutorial. There's no YouTube, the original software. yes. I don't say we can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he told you where he went. Like you're asking him Remember, the they were owing him money. The, the good old computer village. So I went online in those days of um night browsing. Yes. If you remember, you have to go with a flash drive, drive yep. browse all night. Maybe I should have been joining the Yahoo Yahoo boys because that was when they were starting and they're all rich now. Anyway, you plug in the flash drive, you download everything on HTML, you now go back to your own computer, oh, and cool. then you start reading. And that's how, you know, I learned almost every, almost everything, mm -hmm. you know. And then I wrote the script, and I didn't know what next to do. How are we going to produce this thing? So I was working in church. I told my pastor that I want to borrow the church camera because we have this idea that it's going to change the world. Of course, yes. they will listen to me because who's going to edit their videos on <laughs> Sunday? Yeah. So they gave me the cameras and then I called all my friends, mm -hmm. you know, that were like, friends, like, guys, I had this idea. It's a mad idea. Nobody has seen it before. We are going to shoot this film. But first, we need to do storyboards. So I got one guy went to do serious, elaborate storyboards with the character design. You know, recently we someone showed me, someone first. showed me <laughs> all those things and I laughed. And then we said, I said, okay, because we're going to do a lot of Fighting, we're going to need to do training. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we went to, um, uh, what's it called? National Stadium. Stadium mm -hmm. And we got some guys there. We just need some money that I don't have. Oh, you know, no wonder the girl dumped me. So <laughs> we paid some guys there, and then the, we got the lead character mm -hmm. who was um, Kira Watch. She was just new. She had just done one TV show. Mm -hmm. Then was someone introduced her to me. I didn't bother auditioning or anything. I just well, said, yeah, come, are you ready to change me. the world? She said, yes. yes. Join, join this film. Pinky so we went, we were training, we were training. 
so coincidentally, um, a guy reached out. I was still doing like music video jobs. Um, he wanted to do a video for a guy in Port Harcourt at the mm. news production. Yep. And they wanted to duplicate crowd. And I was like, ah, easy peasy, easy. you know, we can figure that one out. So I go to Port Harcourt and we we're doing all the, of course, the VFX. And in three days, the video was ready. The guy was really impressed. He was like, ah, Tony, what do you do? Blah, blah, blah. I said, you know, I'm a filmmaker. Currently, I'm working on a big sci-fi. Oh, shit. Sure. He said, wow, wow, you're doing sci-fi movie. I'd like to know more about it. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you have funding for it? Yeah, we're talking to investors. <laughs> and, you know, things are going to come through. I said, oh, really? But if you need any help, hmm. let me know. I said, oh, don't worry, don't worry. And then, of course, we came back to Lagos. Of course, we didn't have money. So he reached out a month after this time we had rehearsed. We were ready, but we were mm -hmm. waiting for money so we could book locations. Wait, you didn't reach out to him. He reached out No, to no, him. yes. He reached out, mm -hmm. you know, to me and said, so, Nia, how, how about your science fiction film now? <laughs> said, yeah, so we had a bit of a delay. It's in production hell, but, you know, we are working really hard on getting this. And said, hey, just tell me, you don't have money. <laughs> said, yes, I don't have money. <laughs> then he said, okay, you know what, Nia, I, I actually want to act, though. You know, mm -hmm. if it is something you can think about. I said, well, there might be a character for you, actually. You know, like, go to the street. Carry, is that... And I made him the lead character. <laughs> if you are bringing money, we'll so put you in. He goes, okay, you know what? I, you know what, I'm going to commit. I don't know how much the budget is, but let me commit 5M. Hi. This was 2008 to 2009. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know what 5M was? It's a lot Even of now, money. sir. It's you know, I remember <laughs> going to the bank to withdraw... The money. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we're like five. Wait, did you just spread it on the floor afterwards to put no, 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 no. We had to be withdrawing it in bits. And it was it was one of the best moments of my life. You know, someone I was winning for the first time was willing to commit and that much you. to one random Yoruba boy with an idea. And I said, sir, I'm going to make you a star. So believe this it. is my wow. goal in life. You have, you have to they have two missions now. First was to change <laughs> Yes, Nollywood. to change Nollywood. Nollywood. And and this was to make this money. I don't know. Yes, and we joke about it a lot. Now, by the way, I don't know is the guy who produced 76. Yes. yes you yeah. know, the film that went to TV. Oh, so you made him a star. Oh, oh yes, star, yes. So yes. he wanted to act. He didn't even want to be <laughs> EP, but he had access to money and mm -hmm. he thought he could make himself. And I said, so this was also the era of 300. Mm -hmm. Spirit, yeah, yeah, yeah. all those films that had yeah, a lot of green screen, yeah. and we're like, what is green screen? It's not to go to come down and press it. We'll do this thing. So like, you know what? I'm not going to build any set. We're going to shoot this movie entirely mm. on green screen. It has never been Nigerians done Jackson, before. Them. Yeah, so we really should stop watching those of you films. <laughs> and, the, and the BTSs that come with it. So we shot the film. It's, uh, it's a place in... Um, on uh, Abba Macaulay, we call Veritas Studio. Yeah, yeah, okay. you know Verita yeah so we built the green screen, got everybody um, involved. So luckily, with the money, I was able to get this one, Elliot. You know, who read the script and thought it was quite revolutionary. Yeah, so to today, I asked him, was it revolutionary or he just wanted my money? <laughs> but he believed it was revolutionary and um, some of the other actors that we got. And we shot the film. We also shot the film because then I started this little company. We're just a bunch of dropouts and refraps mm. who had really learned a lot of work. And we started this small thing called Antil Studios mm -hmm. because we thought of ourselves as really busy ants that would never have time for other things in this life, you know, mm -hmm. than work. And so we sat down and said, okay, you are going to be the 3D guy. Mm -hmm. You are going to be the music. I basically assigned everybody their roles and they all started learning, you know. And so whenever we did some work, we get the money, we we'll split it in five and mm -hmm. all that. So we started like that. Yes. And mm -hmm. um, that's how Kajola started. Of course, when we, when we saw the... So let me, fun fact, we shot Kajola on HDV tape. All you kids don't know all that hustle now with all this your fancy... With, with the church camera DSL. that you had. Yeah, no, well, no, so we eventually, <laughs> we did use the church camera as a game, but luckily we had some tests. Because you passed us on the vision. Yes. So <laughs> <laughs> we now went to use... I, we used um, HDVs. Mm. I think they were Sony's. Yeah. Then, mm. and you know those DV... Tapes, yes, yes, you know, yes, that yes. you had there, yes, yes, 45. Yes. We had, so Kajola gobbed about 59 tapes. Mm. Yeah, so this is how we edited Kajola. It was a big box of tapes. You put one inside the tape recorder and, mm. you know, one by one. So the length of the download is the length that it plays. Yeah. Right. So you have to watch it and play. And in between, it can stop. <laughs> so when it stops, you start all over all right, again. again, yes. And that, so that was like a two weeks process. Just offloading, mm. and we use this. This was what we did all the green screen work on. Now, when we did the first cut, I didn't show them the first cut, I showed them a teaser. Oh, shit. 
which was, I think, where my teaser talent started from. So <laughs> I showed to the audience. Everybody's like, whoa, wow, whoa, oh that my way, God. had like the bullets, that bullet time yeah, stuff. The, 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 yeah, the bullet time stuff, a little bit of the explosion. explosion yes, some I really saw, mad I saw soundtrack. That, I saw that they put it on, um, a film was premiering in Silverbird Galleria. Yeah, then. Then Ben Bruce called to speak with me. Ah. Really? Yeah, I can never forget. It was a moment, you know. <laughs> it was on channel TV. It was everywhere for free. Although we didn't pay for press, you know. Mm -hmm. The revolutionary, you know, filmmaker Film. is here. So I told them, I said, you know, we're going to have to tell people that we shot this film for a million dollars because we can't, <laughs> you know, we have to, this hype, you know, this hype business, you don't take, package. you know. So we packaged, you know, the whole thing. But deep down, I was watching the film. <laughs> And you know, say. <laughs> so I knew that the problem was that we had generated so much excitement, people were expecting the Matrix. Mm, yes. <laughs> it wasn't that it was the baddest film. And this was still in the 2000s. Mm. You know, it was the house of Macro and the likes that were doing VFX. All the VFX were the same, mm -hmm. you know, but we over promised. You mm. know, they were meant to be robots flying. <laughs> and of course, the film came out <laughs> and the rest as they say <laughs> and it came out in cinema it came yeah. out yes, in yeah, cinema, yeah, it came out in cinema. so this is mm. damola's entry into the story, story. Yeah, so, so damola I, who was drinking I, at I, cubes i was at cubes jet jelly just hanging out <laughs> on a thursday or friday it friday. could have been a tuesday as well or wednesday, <laughs> or wednesday. <laughs> but then i was just chilling and next to you know one of the concession stand people the ticket guys <laughs> rushed downstairs because the manager was with drinking with us and then she was like there's a riot happening upstairs. <laughs> so we're like, ah, riot. What's the problem? Next day, you know, it was like, okay, okay, let's go. And then we rushed back upstairs to the ticket stand, and there were a bunch of people at the ticket stand saying that the movie was still on, no? Yes. That they wanted their money back. <laughs> that please, what was this nonsense that you guys made us pay? Please give me my money back. What so let this? me reintroduce Mr. Ni <laughs> to so The first and his... only director of a film that returned money. Yes. And the film from cinema. From cinema. Not only did they return money, they stopped, they cancelled all shows. They cancelled all shows. So after if you that. think you've had it bad, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you think your movie is bad. Think Kajola. <laughs> think your movie is bad. Think like you have to people are angry think at your movie. Think Kajola. <laughs> they gave you back, you have to return money. You know, they cancelled all your shows. When we heard the news, I didn't. So let me even tell you what made it worse. There was so so we released with EJ. Hey, there was so yeah. much anticipation. This was Kajola's line. It was long because mm -hmm. they sent me pictures on BlackBerry phone. Yeah. It was like, well, but deep down, I knew I was fucked. <laughs> so I told, <laughs> I told everyone, I said, but let's have faith. People might be forgiving. Yes. And we really tried. We put like you know there was good music and all that. Yeah, but Elliot died is there. Yes. You know, yes. you know, we did a couple of things. It was quite bold, you know. <laughs> I must give it to the creators. The creators. So the creators. there was a huge <laughs> line. There was a huge line. And oh everybody, goodness. this was, because um, I know I, I left, I, I was called, I was given one million naira from just that weekend. And that's after the EP. Yeah. I take it much. I don't exactly remember how much we made. Yeah. But you can imagine. You know that it was sizable yeah. for me to get one M. Yes. Mm -hmm. Out of this failure, <laughs> so it was a it was a lot of expectation and money. You know, luckily it helped EJ because everybody just dumped the film. Yeah. Like, you know what? This one where we understand. Let's just watch Two that. beautiful. I think it was Jenny and Omotola in the film. Yes. Yes. These are our people. We know. Let's go and watch this. And yeah, I think, we, I think they gave was, people EJ tickets that night. Oh yes. Yeah. So they yeah. just decided to tell everyone after the but the fight the fight was on a Saturday. Friday, people were like, okay, okay, okay. But the Saturday one was where the crowd was. You know, it still it stayed there for it didn't last a week. But in some in I think in I think in Abuja, because we, we did the premiere in Silverbed Abuja, it stayed for but that was not even the worst part. It was Twitter. <laughs> uh, the <laughs> devil's living. So let me, let me make you day. laugh. There were people who came to watch it in which is why. Nothing, nothing they move me again. Mm. There are people who came to watch the premiere. I, I won't mention their names. They're all over the place. You know, some of us said, they came to watch the premiere. I mean, yeah, 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 it's quite revolutionary. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is, this is something. Did they use the word, I, it's different? Uh, yeah, yeah, it does work. One thing is different, it's revolutionary. Mm. There, there is something there. Mm. I go home in the night and I open Twitter. Because I tell everybody to hashtag Kajok. <laughs> <laughs> It was really bad, you know. Luckily, you know, I was a very strong Ondo man, so nothing, I, you know, I wasn't going to kill myself, you know. But it was, 
it was so bad that I had to, I felt really bad because I felt I had wasted someone's money. Mm. I felt that I wasted everybody's time. The first thing I do, I dissolved until I told oh. everybody, yeah. So I took the money we got from Kajala, I just split it, I gave it to all the guys. Um, they're all doing fine, by the way. Now, some of them have left the country. <laughs> I think Canada. You know, yeah, no, no. <laughs> One is in South Africa, you know, they're all doing fine. So I, you know, I gave all of them the money and I stayed in Port Harcourt and I told Adonai that I was going to stay for one year to work with you and pay back, you know, in kind, in, in, kind, in service. You know, yes, in service. And that's what I did. You know, eventually oh, I think damn. I left after about eight, eight you know, six, seven, eight months. Um, I think, uh, what's his name? Mm. Um, Desmond Elliott yeah. called me and said, Nee, man, forget that thing. But you see that your trailer. Come to come and be following me on set. Mm -hmm. Don't be cutting trailers. Don't be cutting trailers. Yeah, anyhow, the film be just cut mad trailer. <laughs> and so you know, I really thank Desmond for that. He pulled me out of the that depression. Really, yeah, that really dark place. And then there was also um, Stella Damasos. You know, mm. she had a show. So these were people who kind of understood what I was trying to do, mm. but they all saw that I was just a small. How old was I, you know, then 26, you know, mm. there about. This boy wants to do something and maybe he has something. He mm. doesn't need a bit of, you know, guidance. guidance. So Desmond showed me the Nollywood way, oh, okay. mm. you know. And uh, that's why a lot of young filmmakers need to understand, you know, don't disrespect that experience. You yes. don't understand mm -hmm. what it means. He showed me how to <clears throat> make the best out of little, what, yeah. what the audiences care okay. You know, um, but I always say that that is my ogre, you know, mm. regardless of where I am now or what are these box no office numbers, what mm. they mean um, mm. to people. I spent like two years, you know, working nonstop with Desmond. So he would, um, he would also get me to shoot all the technical scenes. In the, he would practically just leave the set mm. and tell me, you know, yeah, they are shoot. fighting. This is the scene, just direct it. After all, you know, you will edit it, you know, and put it together. And mm -hmm. that was like the transition I felt... I needed, and I feel that that's also why it's very important for me to always get young people yes. involved, so they see this process. You know, you know, it's very easy for them to sit down after they've read them, um, Michael Rabinga and all those fancy. Come books, out and say, I and know what speaking to do. Yeah. grammar. You know, but <clears throat> what happens when you're on set and your location is not available? How what do you do? How do you appeal to the Nigerian audience? He was really crucial, um, you know, in helping me do that. And I think after that phase, I, you know, I got the boldness. Funny enough, people don't know this story. I was bold enough. I went to do another film again. Yes. You mean you know, yes. film? But it wasn't sci-fi. It was superhero. I remember that one. That's the one that had... Um, it but never came out. No. It, never it never came, came out, out because you people will never see it. <laughs> you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was with them. What's her name? It was with them. Blossom. That's what I remember. Blossom and Evie. Yes. He shot it in Abuja. Yes. Wale. Wale. No. When I'm a proper billionaire, I will just release it to laugh at you people. I feel like she actually even shoot Kajola. Well, I mean, there's been discussions, you know, around that because I think it's a really beautiful story. I think mm. it's a story that needs to be told I have a in a way, to but we'll figure it out. I have a question to ask. Not all green screen, please. Some yeah. practical. Yeah. In fact, you know what? We didn't need to do green screen then. No, boy, it's you just have seen it's, it's, seen it's, it's too much nonsense watching. It was <laughs> three hundred and spirit. Yes. Remember, you know, spirit, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, and you know, all of us read that. What was that Roddy Gray's book? Rebel with a Rebel. crew. Yeah. Rebel. Yes, yes you Rodriguez, know. after he made um, a, a mariachi. Yeah, yes, mariachi, no, yeah. you know what? Rebel with a crew, meaning yeah. don't give a fuck. Just shoot it. They will watch it anyhow. Like, of course, people will watch it. Because they're great <laughs> so story. So that's the chest you entered. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to ask, though. So from Kajula <clears throat> to Prophetess. Tell us about your experience on Prophetess. Because, man, that movie is hilarious. Yeah. Uh, well, so Prophetess. And tell us about shooting comedy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Funny enough, it's I really love comedy, mm -hmm. which is weird because I think deep inside, you know, my inner instinct is really how killing can I people. make things? Yes, you know, I mean, apart from killing people. Yes, apart from killing people, how can I make things funny and funnier and funny? Maybe it boils down from <clears throat> the love for animation. If you yeah. if you are into animation, there is no way you're not going you know, to do you're not going to have that. Yeah. And it's so when you see Prophet, there's also it feels a bit animated. Mm. If you watch it, it you mm. see the sensibilities of an animator, mm. you know, rather than just a, so you see the way we move cameras, you know, all those, you know, as they go walking in and all that. That's all animation. That's the kind of nonsense you learn mm. in animation. But comedy is something that is very intrinsic, you know, to me. I just love any opportunity to find a way to make people laugh in a scene, which is funny because the kind of stories I like to watch and enjoy 
I really sick and sad stories, dystopia, you know, sci-fi, you know, mm. things that take you like really off the edge. So I'm a bit of an extreme mm. on those sides. But whether people like to believe it or not, Nigerians really love their comedies. Mm. Oh yeah. Know, they, 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 life is hard they, already. They, they is love hard, it. You I know, love and I say something mm. which is a, a new discovery. Mm -hmm. I might be wrong, but I think Professor Danomogeto has proven me a bit right. Inject a little bit of violence in that comedy. <laughs> I'm not joking. Yeah. We're violent people. <laughs> yes, we enjoy violence. Did you see how they were reacting to violent things in Omoghetto? And like, these are people getting hurt. And I just think about it that maybe that kind of visual comedy is something we should explore mm -hmm. beyond just verbal um, type comedy. So mm -hmm. it always works when the comedy is very visceral you know, and visual and direct and in your face than when it's just people talking and mm -hmm. trying to be funny. Mm -hmm. I also had a, and I, I joke about this a lot, people don't believe it, that I tell you that when all of you were watching Citizen Kane and all that, I was watching Kotoru, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Arelu, uh, all those films. So we grew up, you know, when my dad bought VHS, they bought all the Yoruba films. The Yoruba films. Do you know, I, I don't remember seeing a proper, you know, the Nollywood, the English Nollywood films, until I don't know, maybe the late 2000s. So I never saw all those rattlesnake. I don't know. I never saw all those films. Oh wow! I saw Yoruba Babasuwe, you know, you. and all those. Films. So Prophetess is really yeah. So Prophet. So when I wanted to make from Prophet, somewhere, yeah, I wanted to make those letter. films I saw. Mm. Yeah. Then, which is why this person must die. <laughs> 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 you know, so I, I made it very clear when we were doing the story development and even with the co-producers, uh, I'm making a Yoruba film, but I will add Igbo you know, into it. And I'm glad we, we Please, did Please, you nailed that. those Igbo beats. <laughs> I live for those beats. But it's also the experience that has come from all the films, you know, that we've done together. together you yeah. know, studying the audiences, studying, you know, the things they react to. Um, uh, and it's interesting because I've been lucky, you know, mm -hmm. I would say, to explore, you know, different, even though I don't believe in genre, you know, I feel mm -hmm. Nigerians don't care about genre. They want a bit fuse, of everything. Yes, yeah. you, can, you have to fuse everything. everything. Mm -hmm. So you see a very serious film like Oloturi, you know, but they will still find moments to laugh, yeah. you know, because they need moments, you but know. But the one that so, also is that like Nigerians laugh at things. So our reaction to pain is to laugh. Exactly. That is, that is it. We're well, <laughs> a copy mechanism. That, we yeah, exactly. so like, much pain. And I think it's a very Nigerian thing. Yes. Because when also, we saw um, arbitration in TIFF, there was a reviewer there that was confused that people were laughing. Yes, she was thought it was a problem with the story. She with did the story, not realize yes, that yes. that is how yeah, we that react. That's with stuff. Yes. But again, it bleeds into our music as <laughs> well. Again, the type of know, music we like. Yeah, but also, <clears throat> Nigerians are not like Oimbos that have first course, second course, third course. All our food is mixed together. Together, yeah. thank so you. Have you seen? No rice. When they go to oh, parties, good food. This, like, this is a brilliant way to actually explain. You put the cake. The cake. Beside the rice. I think it was... Um, Canada used that word. It doesn't have to be funny. It should be entertaining. Yes. And I yeah. think that that's one word that says a lot. And I tell a lot of all these kids, you know, that's the bottom don't, line. This genre thing that all of you are sleeping on, you know, you have to be very careful. Yeah. So tone management. So, but the challenge with this, and this is the honest truth, is in managing writing. tone. No, it's not even the right. So managing tone is difficult. Mm -hmm. So that is why people also stick to one genre, one genre because because having to cross between comedy, drama, thriller, whatever. It yeah, so we also need to hard. write books work. because all of us have read the books from Hollywood that teach us when you are writing this genre, stick to these yes. tropes they and they this and that. Like and that. This, yes. Yes. We need the audience. Nigerian one that but, says, no, but, oh, a fair, medley of genre is blah, blah, blah. Korean blah, films are like that. Korean films have mm. a mix, they also yeah. mix genre. I always say but that our have, sensibilities, because I, I haven't read our any sensibilities Korean are closer yeah. to Bollywood and Koreans yeah. Yeah. than yeah. to yeah. Hollywood. Yes. No, definitely. Yeah. But Bollywood, yeah. Bollywood to a large extent. No, Bollywood, yeah. Bollywood, yeah. Bollywood for the melodrama. Yeah, for the melodrama. We, we yeah. love. Well, I mean, look at Z World. What am I saying? Of course. Yes. <laughs> yeah. See the way we respond. But see the way we responded to South Korean films. Mm -hmm. Yes. Love it. These kids are into that stuff. Try and watch any one of them. You know, they're like Nigerian story, but they're just really exaggerated. Yes. Yeah. And of course, well shot and just fine looking people. So I yes. think that pretty it's boys. really important. Very yeah, very pretty like, boys and yeah. girls. So we, we like, should do a lot just more. Like light skin. The two of you just like light skin. Wow. No, uh, yeah. It's not like that. Too. It's like that. Not like you want that. us to go into your films and start to pull out all the light skin people inside. 
Do I have life skills? Oh, they've accused you of life skills. Yes, now. Really? Oh, who are these people? I don't yes, know. Yes. I don't know these guys. How many jobs have you done with? All your things. Mm. Lightning women or men? W women. All of the women. Men matter too. <laughs> 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 no, but I, but I think it's. Uh, let's not have the light skin privilege conversation. Yes, yeah, instead of having that, let's have it. Let's have it. What do you think about it? Do you think it exists? I don't think it does. Okay. You know, I don't. I think beautiful people are beautiful. People, you Tell know, them. I will, I will, if me you give me Genevieve for free, if you give me Genevieve and she, it requires me to shoot her for free, I will do it for free. No, and if you, look at that, you to shoot eh? if you look at that, I, I will pay to shoot Genevieve. I will pay to shoot Genevieve. Uh -huh. You know, Genevieve. that is a beautiful, really to pay you know, it, it, you know, it has nothing to do with color. We're just really beautiful people. And let's think about it now. How many of the stars are, are actually are light, light skin? Yeah, how many? Maybe a few of the new ones, but how many of There's no the stars? Old, old yeah, very, very one. few. Maybe yeah. maybe Rita is probably the lightest of that bunch. Oh, yeah. Are you saying natural lightness or the one from Bottle? That's not the conversation <laughs> That's not the conversation we're having. Anyway. So. But, but it's also... Um, they're, they're, but we can't deny the fact that a lot of people feel they need to be um, brighter for... You know the camera. So, so what yeah. I yeah, but I don't think that so that anybody my, should believe they need to be lighter for camera in Nollywood yeah. because I don't think that Nollywood favors. Light. I don't think filmmakers have that sentiment. Yes, so in, if you are if you are very black, eh, and you have Tony Abraham followers, we will put you in film. Sure. <laughs> it doesn't so matter. The only, yeah. the only way the way I look at it is like if Nigeria has light skin privilege, then the industry does. To what degree is a question, but I, it, yeah. it you you are a function of the just of the of, of the, the of the, the environment. Yeah, of the environment. Yeah, so yeah. so I so and so is, whether it is that oh the people who are more likely to become famous are like to my point like there's no I don't think that there's prejudice from the filmmakers part, but you react to the society that you're in. Yeah. So you yeah. so my point is like it it has to be in there somewhere one way or another. Well, but I, I like but so. I like that the people at the top. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. You know, the Funkers, you know, the Moose, all these people, even the musicians, none of them are... No, I know, so that's what I'm saying. Like, I, don't think, that's what I, so I don't think it is, I don't think it is intentional, but I think that there's a, it's a potential degree of it. But I, who knows, right? But I just, I think that it's something that at some point, because this is one of the things that data does, so it's like how in, the, in Hollywood, right, they were arguing that, oh, there was no discrimination, and then the data showed, showed that, that, oh, yeah. by the way, people, there, there is. is so eventually, when we talk about all these things about studying Nollywood, um, mm -hmm. yeah. scholarly, from a scholarly perspective of... Um, yeah, but the data yeah. won't show in this. That's what I'm but saying. How do you know? <laughs> because if you look at that generation of, of women, um, um, Omoni, Genevieve, all of them, like you said, it's only Winter. Yeah, that they were all that. that, that, that but, that was, but you see, that's what you, are, you, what you just said. That generation, but you know, that's so that's where we're starting from, right? Yeah, look at roll this. Forward now. Roll, roll forward. forward. You still have, you, you have more roll lighter forward skin. Roll forward that even roll back, sir. You have. You, you have, have yeah, I know you have light skin, but you still have dark skin. No, I know. Let me, to let me ask you people should stop agreeing and give okay. up. <laughs> Lee, so you've talked about various genres, you've done science fiction, and then you've done Yoruba film, which is prophetess. But I also know that you have a huge passion for animation. And then a few years ago, you did Malaika, and then I've all seen all your shots and all of that. So do you think there's like a future for proper animated movies in cinema? He even talked about this on like CNN and stuff. Yes. Yeah, so well, I have to do animation before I die. It's okay. really important. I have to make an animated feature. It's what I, you know, we, I, we, you know when I was dating, you know... Uh, Kajola. No, 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 no. When I was dating uh, the person that I'm with now, my okay. partner. Your partner. Right? Um, one of the things we told ourselves is that if we do not release an animated show, we're never going to get married. Hey. You know, yes. And we released one called The Sim back then. I remember and, the same. Yes, you remember The, the Sim. And after we did it, I was like, okay, you know what, let's throw to the court and do this. Mm -hmm. um, because I really, I, I think that, this is where I think about animation. Um, I think it can do a lot for the industry. Mm -hmm. You know, if we get it right, yeah. it's um, because it can cascade into a lot of things. The biggest entertainment company in the world started Disney. with a mouse. It, there is a reason Steamboat for Willy. it. Yes, it started with a, a with Steamboat, you know, really. And we have so many stories that we cannot capture alone with this thing. And that's the reason why we've not been able to tell some of those fantastical stories, sorry, that we care about. Also, I'm really, really interested in shaping the minds of young, young people. people. So I have a very strong set philosophy on how people should think. You know, I feel that yeah, we sir, need to be sir, more sir. imaginative. I want to inspire young people to want to travel to the moon, to mm -hmm. want to build stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to always only aspire to be whiskey. I mean, no offense, but that's not 
There is no society that is built because everybody wants to be entertainers. You know, one type of person. Animation is the only thing that can do that. I know you wanted to be Superman at some point in your life. Still today. Still good. Still you know, today. Probably he wants to be Batman. Mm. Or maybe Lex Luthor. I think he's more Lex <laughs> Luthor. <laughs> wow. He's more Lex Luthor. Mm. Wow. You know, and there's a reason. I, I have no words. And that's why, you know, 40-year-old men are still going to, they want to come and watch, you know, um, um, whatever it is. And then you will see Damola arguing. <laughs> arguing non-stop about Falcon versus this person versus that person. Don't let me answer that, that one. That was an impression. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get it? That was made. I feel there is nothing that is doing it for young people. And I feel animation is the only thing that can. But do you know, I might be wrong. I don't know, no, but, but let me tell it's you why, the only weapon me, I think Let me tell I you why you're not wrong. When you actually look at... So almost anybody, when you look at your YouTube stats, etc., etc., young people aren't really watching Nollywood. So the question is like, if how do you build that? So it's either that people age into Nollywood, but it is clear that it is not really addressing mm, the that, youth. Music is that's why they want to be entertainers. Mm, the well, skits sure. are etc. No, et young people are not watching Nollywood. No, so most not of really. so not most really. of your stats start from eighteen and up. Yeah. So prior to eighteen, yes, so you're not watching. In fact, you're actually banned, actively banned by your from your by your parents from watching Nollywood. And that's, they did that that's, to your house. That's, 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 that's critical. So, so the question is, what, how do you... So family films exist and people are watching family films now. Mm -hmm. But you find that like when people select... I mean, anytime you go on Meet and Greet, just yeah. watch the young people and their selection choices yeah. for films. Yeah. Yeah. You, so the question is, if you make it earlier, right? So you give them... Nollywood cartoons, etc. Nollywood, Nickelodeon versions of oh, Nollywood. Yeah. It's a gateway. It's a gateway, yes. and it's something that I, I think that we. But, need but, to but, but I think even broader than that. So we we now we sat down and we're like, okay, so maybe animation is too far, but can we start thinking about things that incorporate some fantastical elements? You know, the Harry Potter types. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. and so in a way, that was why we did DOD. In a yeah. way, you know, how can we get young kids to do young kid stuff that young kids will believe? you know, is possible. So, you know, isn't that something we can all start thinking about? It might be slow, you know, it might not be big cinema hits, but eventually it can permeate culture, yeah. you know, in a way that and I think And to be honest, that's it. the only way, that's the only reason why all of us look into um, Hollywood, look into the West, is because through cartoons, yeah, we, we are, we are, we are sold, we are sold their culture, their tastes, everything, so that everything they do, we want to do. And we've had this conversation before. Yeah. I mean, God help us in this industry where we're able to get this money and finance these types of um, yeah, projects. Projects. Where we're able and to I feel do. that we should not, we shouldn't be afraid to try whether yes. we fail or not. But we should. Do I can I? You know, I remember what Bob Iger said in his masterclass. He said every time you see people take pictures of. A girl in a wedding gown coming down a staircase. Mm. He said, That's Disney. That's Disney. Yeah. He said, That is Disney. He said, You don't Cinderella. know, but that is Disney. Yeah. You know, and it's that is. Yeah. And yeah. I yeah. thought about it. Holy no. You best. know, how do we, that change we want? It's not going to happen in our generation. We're all going to be old in our 80s. But if we want the people ruling us when we're in our 80s to yeah. have a mind that is, you know, set to the right thing and transform we, it. Yes, right. we need to do that work. Yeah. Like, it's a responsibility. Like, so, bringing you back here. You've talked about how you met Desmond, how you met Twain. How did you meet these people? Because I already, <laughs> they have been talking about you before we finally yes. met, right? Yeah. So how did you meet these two people? Okay, so it was Nas I met, and I thought, you know, I felt very sorry for him. <laughs> I, I thought the casual nonsense was happening to him. Yeah, but well, it was <laughs> it's like, happening. You know, I it's need to. It was happening. I'm going to do what, so I had a, I had a mission, mm -hmm. which I think somewhere is still there. I love to help make people's films it's succeed. It's not somewhere. It's very much it's, part of you know, It doesn't people. matter. It doesn't... Yeah. I don't have to be involved. In, there are people that have mm -hmm. cut trailers for just because I saw the film. Like, ah, this film can have a better trailer. Come, bring it. Anything you have, send it to me. So we did um, a film uh, by, you know, shout out to Uduak, yeah. Uguama, and I'm, you know, fantastic woman. She was one of the people who reached out to me and said, I want you to direct a rom-com. Said wrong because haven't you heard about me? I do, <laughs> you know, I do <laughs> actual stuff. Do you know, I, I told her, I said, maybe you are in love with me. That's why you, you <laughs> made that suggestion. And then we did something together, and then that was where I met Nas. And he then he was working on something, and it looked yeah. like they were in trouble. Mm, we were. Yes, and Coco said, um, me meet Nas. Coco is Udua. Yes, Udua. Udua. I think you guys mm. I worked something out. So I remember the first VC, I go to his house, you know, it was still a bachelor. Then, you know, the, the, yes, the, the living room looked like he had packed in, but he has refused to put stuff where they needed to be. 
So yeah, I was like, that for two years. Good afternoon, Mr. Nazo. I'm here. Oh. Say, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So go to the fridge, you know, to, to take a drink. Let's talk. You know, he was forming boss until I saw the, the Wahala, you know. But I think what struck me most about Naz was, I don't know what we were doing, and I, we walked upstairs, and I saw a stack of DVDs. It was like two bags. How many bags? Was yeah, he was still yeah, in my, my Ghana mosque. He was still in his Ghana mosque. Like I said, he had refused to unpack. So I saw, I was like, holy shit, this guy loves making films. And I also saw the nature, of, I saw the big Spielberg. So we, we left the discussion of the work. And so I was talking. Is that bond? Yeah, but I also realized that he didn't want to make, he wanted to make really special films, but he wanted to make big films. Yeah. And I was looking for anybody interested in making big films. I remember going back that day and telling Vic, I was like, ah, man, this nice guy, I'm like that big, big film they want to do for that company, we need to. You know, we need to enter them. <laughs> <laughs> like parasites. Yeah, we need to, we need to, we need to infiltrate. <laughs> you know, and then we worked on, 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 what's it, the department. The department, yeah. That was one that we And did. I wasn't, I was also doing crisis management. You owe me money for the crisis management I did on that film. Because he was throwing, he was having this big issue with the other director. So he will complain, we will fix. The other director will complain, and we fix. And then remove back and then show him. <laughs> this is the guy paying me. Who am I going to listen to? But you know, I want to understand your plight, blah, blah, blah. But eventually we made the film work. You know, I like the film. I don't think I had met Zulu then. No, no, it was, no, um, no, no, yeah, it was a Matayo. Oh no, no, you dropped no. something in his house or something. Yes. Oh, really? That's the first time where I came to Abraham Adesanya. Oh, really? Yes. To drop a drive or something. Yeah, so that, basically that was the beginning of the relationship. I remember we caught the, the trailer and Naz was like, ah, he really likes the trailer. Blah, 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 blah. That's how it started. And then randomly, I don't know what we, I was doing. And then he said, oh, yeah, so, so yeah, I have the script. Out of you know, out and it of, was falling now. It was yeah, after it was, yes. was falling. Oh, yeah, yes, it, was it, was, between, it was in between, was between yeah. you know, apartments falling. And, and then he said... Um, you know, you had the script out of law. I'm like, it doesn't matter what the script is. If you want to do big thing, I'm going to do this <laughs> thing, do you know, yeah. with these people. And I liked, of course, I liked the... I, and if you could see then that I, there were a lot of things I wanted to experiment with in film. I used ink blot as a vehicle for all my experiments. So, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're happy. We're happy with Inglot the was the ink blot was the vehicle for how I cut trailers. Mm -hmm. If you look at some of the things we did on Out of Luck, like the slow-mo, oh. and I'd always wanted to do that nonsense, you know, people fighting, and then the slow-mo, you know, it was ink blot. Um, arbitration, you know, ability to shoot in one space and prove to one everybody location. that we can tell a story. Mm -hmm. And I thought that they were, you know, for me and Nas, there was a synergy in how we were thinking about the industry. He was also very passionate about helping people, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and investing. Mm -hmm. I think he was to a fault, eh, because <laughs> we used to wonder what his problem was. <laughs> he was, 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 a, was yeah. like a spiritual problem. But no, then no. there was a guy that was a phantom. They called him Damola. <laughs> you never heard of him. You know, we used to think Zulu was a witch. <laughs> you know, so every time we say, nah, this thing is going to cost one million naira, and then he changes his mind, he's out there. <laughs> it's Zulu. No, it's Only it's to no. realize it was a lie. It's not Zulu. <laughs> no, but it's not Zulu. Was it, was not, it was never Zulu. I don't know who it was. But <laughs> the witch we thought there was never who nobody knows. It's Zulu now. Mm. Yeah, but what's it mean now? What, so what the, there mean? was a phantom that you know, I think it was on arbitration. I now saw him randomly. He was sitting on the staircase of your house. Oh, okay. You, think you met yeah. him really pretty early on then. Yeah, no, that's from 2016. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, but no, no, he wasn't. He wasn't even with us. So he no, was I just. Happened, no, yeah, he was just like, what the hell this one's doing? Yeah, they are doing film. You know, he was such a hater. <laughs> <laughs> I guess maybe when we went to Tiff, he started believing that. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. I know we have to wrap up. We're not going to wrap well, up. Wait, wrap it. Tell me how, how you it's... felt when they picked you up from the airport at Tiff. Ah, it was it was magical. <laughs> the guy who picked me up was the same guy who drove Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> well, I can never forget Toronto that. International Film Festival. <laughs> Ni is there as the director of arbitration, and then bam. Go. All right. So of course we get to of course but that whole process was surreal from how we got selected. It wasn't like right? we we watched. We were, we were waitlisted. Yeah, we were, yeah, we were waitlisted. I think Nas like a last Nas told me to go and talk to. I talked to Cameron. Oh, yes, now. when we were submitting. Yeah, yeah, when, yeah. We were, when, when he visited. Yeah, yeah when we, he visited. When we just showed trailers. Show we trailer. hadn't even submitted. No, no, we hadn't we, submitted. We hadn't yeah, submitted. we hadn't submitted. So he saw the trailer. I was like, oh my God, I really like that. You know, do you want to show me? He said, eh, okay, let's show you now. <laughs> and then we showed him and, he's, you know, he was selected. But that was a moment. Like, 
everything. So let me tell you, my 2016 was a very, very, you know, it was a very interesting. Everything was just happening, yeah. you know, back to back. I'm like, this arbitration that this boy called me to say he wants to do straight to TV. Mm. You know, yes. that's <laughs> what has taken us, you know, to... <laughs> see, which also, I mean, I can't explain these things, you know, where if you're going to do anything, just put your heart into it. Yes, you never you know. Where know. We'll take the it. same thing that happened to arbitration happened to Elevator Baby. Crying? Yeah, no, we I'm shot okay. it. That's great. That's great. It was that last thing. Because I can, I can see tears. Yeah, little, I can see tears little, <laughs> little ideas, you know, can create immense opportunities. Mm -hmm. You just never, just do it with all your heart. I don't know how much you know, they, they paid me for arbitration. I've forgotten. Stop that. You know. You can see I've been How did they all dare you forget? I don't know how much they paid for did. arbitration. You know, I don't even know what no, the overall budget. To be fair, we couldn't afford him, but you did the, the profit yes, share. Yes, we did the yeah, profit yeah. share. Because and it actually worked. Thank it you. Well, I couldn't resist the story. But when I think about it, you know, people, yeah, change daddy, blah, blah, blah. Even set up. But everybody still comes like, but you see that arbitration. arbitration. Yeah. You see that. So all the people who don't like me in the industry, all the critics, at least they can hold on. Go and watch arbitration. To, okay, yeah, that, so I think everybody wants me to be doing more arbitration. Mm. Sure, you understand. Mm. Go help us. No, but please, please, do, more, please, do more prophetess. <laughs> Give us. Please. We're here for that chaotic please. fun. You know, so, but that was a very big moment, Tiff. You know, like I said, the guy who drove me also drove Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't care what anybody says. That was as big that your as... Ash, your that, yes, that was... Your, your yes, yes because in his mind, they hire him to carry the, the big, big ones. Yes, so you guys ask me, so who are you, please? Yes, Maybe but know you. it was also the reaction, you know, to arbitration. You know, the questions... You know, we had like a sold out hall, like, you know, three of these the screenings, you know. And it was a very nice bonding moment with me and Naz. You know, we walked in the streets of Toronto. You know, it took me to one place. It's not Hooters, but the girls were wearing ah. stuff. I don't know where it took and me to. The they were wearing <laughs> Hooters, but the girls were. So, we were <laughs> Naz has never right. told us this. So. It's okay. Why is it okay? It took me to it's one so okay. grill spot. Yes, it was a grill. No, but it was a grill, but this is where That's how they wore. They were wearing black and they wore brown. They were not grilling meat anywhere else. Was the food sweets? No, but funnily enough. It didn't matter. But you don't be razzed. It wasn't just Please. you now. It was me, you, and Adesua, and... No, no, no. That was, that was me, you. Then later, me, you, Adesua, and Osi's so went, yeah. went to that the different okay. place where that was the more family now. oriented. Hey, so the same. I So this is for an extension of the Adjusia No, that's not. So I can never forget. very foolish. So now took me on the trip. It took me to Subway. I've never been to Subway. You know, and I finished my meal. And I left it on the table and I said, my friend, pack it. Don't you know you're in a, you are in a, you are abroad? Yeah, you have to go and throw that food. I was like, nah, wow. <laughs> See this embarrassing. I thought the body had been. Yes. But it was a fun moment. We also met on money. Yes. And yes. I think that was when our money was literally pitching. <laughs> The nurse, put me in your film. I will market your film for you. Oh, yes. Put me in your film, yeah. nurse. Put, next thing, our money is in, you know, an English film. Three. Yes. Yeah. Oh, three, Shay, three. after. So. And then you've done like what? Ten of our movies? One way or another. No, because me, I'm, I'm so jealous, though, because the way I miss this thief trip is paining my spirit. Melek, you must go Melek, again. Melek, Melek, sorry. Well, we'll another, next year, next year. Another year. What film are you submitting next year? I don't know. Nabi but just You can just go. Yeah, I'm funny enough. I just you went. You went. I thought that it might be Sundance. Yeah. No, no, but no, I just no. went. No, but, but you can also just go. No, no I don't want to no, just go. Really Hello, fun. what's the fun in just going? Well, we can just go now. Mm -mm. Okay, sorry. Okay. Anyway. Sorry. I'll so, yeah, it was. So, yeah, that's basically me meeting in. Please, but I, I must tell us to wrap, but we're I not must, rapping. I must say, you know, you can cut all the other long story. But but no, everything keep, is you have to keep this one. I must say, you know, and I was telling, you know, Zulu was joking about it that, you know, everything that has led up to where we are in Prophetess is because these three people, this, and I say it all the time, I say it to anyone, anywhere, these three people decided to use their hard-earned money to invest in other people to make films. You know, they have made stars. They've made not just actors stars, they've made producers, they've made Directors. production managers, they've made Costume. crew, they've made cameramen, <laughs> costumers, <laughs> No. They, yeah. Let it go. No, are you, no, he's no, right. No, 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 no. <laughs> They've made directors. <laughs> <Don't zoom in. laughs> it is impossible to talk about this new wave of Nollywood without talking about ink blood. I mean, we, we joke about the fact that, oh, Antin is now a production company and we are now competition. But all that is just hula baloo. These were the people that, and the reason why it's important is that they could have done it themselves. 
And I tell Nas this all the time. And I tell him, I'm saying it here as a brother to brother. I remember when we were doing Out of Luck, Vicky said, but Nas, we want to direct now. Maybe mm-hmm. you want to direct. You know, he, she joked about it. And I realized, well, to be fair, they could actually have done it themselves. He could have been a director. She could have been the producer. This song can be the Wahala person, whatever it is that they find for him. Are we about to let a cat out of the bag? I'm not joking. No, No, don't let that cat. Yeah. They, as a unit, you know, I mean, I direct prophetess, Vicky produces, and Eddie, you know, that's a bit of a close-knit unit. These people hire people, and they don't pay small money. They are the highest paying company in the industry. As in the inbox yes, yes. just went higher. I knew yes, yes. cut this yes. part out. In case, in, in case they are doing an IPO and they need to value them, they have just put them out there. They don't pay, you know, they Money. give you value. And lastly, this one is very, very important. All of you put that camera on my eyes. <laughs> when you work for Ink Blot, oui. mm, they make you the star of the show. It's very, very important. This is and this is a learning that even I have taken, that it doesn't matter, you know, the amount of money and your IP and blah, blah, blah. You can be in the back burner, you know, and still be successful. You don't have to be that person who has a director on set and at then see the caddy, you know, all the film, as you say, now then get them. They ensure, they, they are very deliberate okay, and intentional. Right. Oh, yeah, make it you know, they are, they are very deliberate and intentional about making people succeed very deliberate and very intentional and that's what everybody needs to do in the industry regardless of how big and how successful you are that is why they will be there for a very very but Lee, very long that is time. why we're friends you see because mm. you are exactly the same things you've said yes you are yes you are with the, the people that we've seen pass your through time, your yes pass through that. your um, your 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 company the reformed auntie, which we didn't talk about, but next time. That's fully crying. That's his tears are like up to his lips now. <laughs> Naz is my G. <laughs> so Naz, Naz is the guy, you know those friends that you have that the two of you can be fighting every day, but if somebody talks nonsense about them, yeah. outside you will kill that person. Yeah. And Naz is one of those people. Yes, yeah. so um, Lee, know. thank you for the kind words. Yes, um, I think I'm the only one that has a voice. These guys have been crying. <laughs> <laughs> like as the G. Look at them, mushy, mushy people. Look at the G. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the kind words. Thank um, you. Thank and, you and just thank you for doing everything that you do for the industry because I believe that you and your drive to continue to position young people in a space where they're able to, where you set them up for success. That's something that you do. That's something Vicky does. And, you know, in that editing space as well, I don't know which, you know, editor that has come, that we have, we've worked with that hasn't passed through your, your training process. So thank you, guys. Um, yeah. And thank you for coming here. There's so much that we thank have you. left to see. Yeah. Our producer Sorry, is going I talk to too really much. Sorry. murder us, but <laughs> yeah. maybe we'll call. You split it in we'll parts. Definitely have, no, we'll definitely have me. No, so <laughs> definitely have me. And because we want to talk a little bit more about the intentionality of how you develop people and mm-hmm. give them opportunities. We, that was actually supposed to be the point of this episode, but we literally. I, like, I told you not to start this schedule out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. but but I think. No, but, but I think people needed to hear that because I think it's also important because, like. Failure is, we talk about this a lot, but failure is a, just a robot of the way to success if you believe in the future. And I think that those battle hardened things are important. And that part of the journey is, and the part of the journey that is beyond yourself is something that we should spend some time talking about. Um, yes, and to time. add to what you just said, there's something that, you know, I learned in this journey as well, which is that success confuses. Mm, yeah. And if you are successful really early, it's really difficult for you to rein yourself in and and say you know i need to still learn mm-hmm. something yeah, yeah. so failure actually helps yeah. you you know build on that experience and, you and just... I've, I've learned why because failure teaches you to be vulnerable yeah yeah because when you're so, yeah. when you're successful the pressure to repeat means that you can't <clears throat> it's harder for you to ask for help to show that you're not getting it but when you failed mm-hmm. you have to ask for help, help. because yeah. you have failed yeah. so, you get, yes. so yes. like literally our first one was falling apart you're going to ask for help yes. you get what i'm saying you're so you're you're struggling your film getting out of cinema mm-hmm. or you are, you are running out of money like the the things that make you understand that asking for help is important and necessary mm-hmm. are the things that enable you to have to have longer lasting success and look at that we asked for help from this guy and here we look are. at where we are today his family and I, it's a beautiful thing mm-hmm. because you know part of this failure mm-hmm. discussion every film i still approach today i approach it with one single fear will the audience get mad 
and ask for their money back. You might think it is funny, but it is not funny yeah. at all. It's, it's traumatizing. You know, because traumatizing. It will, so I will, I will rather not release that film. Sure. Do you understand? Or I would rather not be too associated yeah. with it. Or I would try as much as possible mm -hmm. to still give the audience something. And that is largely based on those early experiences. You mm -hmm. know? And I, the last thing I just want to say to everyone is that don't be... You might not, it might not be the opportunity you want that people will give you to get at the, at the initial instance. Yeah. I see a lot of director for higher types. Mm -hmm. You know, if a couple of them have come to meet me, what does it feel like working with Inkblot? Are they going to override everything? Blah, 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 blah. Everybody wants to know how I did it. Mm -hmm. You know, and I tell people that it might not be the whole picture that you want for yourself when you are in a space like this. But you see that little one that they give you. Eh? Make sure that they do not find a replacement for you in that spot. Like they should be able to say, ah, man, when we did that work with this person, oh my God, it was such a thing, you know. Don't be very careful the way you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a director's film. It's a direct no, these are people who put money, you know, to make you the director and then you slap your name. On it, whatever opportunity you want to work on a set, they tell you that for now you are going to be PA. Take that PA, make be the best the PA, PA that they've ever had. Okay, you'll be shocked the amount of people that are now doing big things with ink blood that four years ago people like Isioma were nosy, nosy PAs <laughs> on set. We you know, had that you know, yeah. So it's it's really important that you will not that opportunity. When I was with them, it was everything I could do, whether it is cut the trailer, or, um, edit the film, or, um, help with the camera, or, help with the discipline, whatever Read it was, scripts, you, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Voice, you know, whatever yeah. it was that was necessary, because your ultimate goal should be the success mm -hmm. of the film, you know, beyond mm -hmm. anything. So mm -hmm. I'm really grateful that companies like this exist, you know. I imagine okay. really yeah, big yeah, things. So okay. I imagine <laughs> really big things. For Amen. ink Amen. blot, you and know. It's not a it's not a it's not a yes. it's not a, it's not a, it's not a yes. 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 No, no, big no. big 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 things. All right, all right, right guys. I think we have reached. We were supposed to play a game, oh producer. <laughs> I think we have reached the end of our podcast at this point. Thank you. Um, time. Yes, thank guys for listening. Um, we want to die yet today. I mean, that's part of our problem. They tell us that we that we bring our friends on, and, and that's that the best. That, and that's what we love to do. This this one is a cabal. <laughs> I want you people to know. <laughs> Put that in the in your court. This this one here is a cabal. Anywhere you see us, you beg to you can beg to bribe to enter this cabal. We don't even a chaotic cabal. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Bye. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.